What's up guys, Joe at Momentum Works. Today we're gonna talk about ISX turbos. Everything from the CM570, the 870, the 871, and the 22 and 2350s, going through the X15s. Stay tuned. All right, gang, so we get a lot of calls for ISX turbocharger replacements. Whether people are looking for stock replacements, upgrades, or non-BGT, the ISX has been in production since 1999, and as we're shooting this video, it's 2021. So you got a 22 year span that these engines have been produced. So naturally, there's been some variations along the way. You know, starting down here at our CM570 and all the way up through our newest models, you can see that the turbochargers look quite different. Now, you can see that this CM570 unit on the end looks really different. This compressor wheel is obliterated. Well, HX60s are on national back order right now. They have been for about six months. So we have to use, you know, blown up unit here. One of our clusters blew it up over on Route 80, right up the road here. So, hey, we, you know, we have this core that we're able to shoot the video. So let's jump right into it real quick. CM570 from 1999 to 2002, that's gonna be an HX60W. Then for the ISX CM870, which is the introduction of the EGR cooler from 2003 to 2007, you have one of these HE551Vs. Jumping from 2008 to 2010, you have the HE561VE, and then introduced in 2011, the CM2250, and then the 2350 and the X15s are all using an HE451VE. Now that we have a quick synopsis about the different turbos, let's jump in more in depth on each specific unit. We'll jump right into it with the HX60, which is the turbo on the Signature 600 engines, uh, all your CM570s from 99 to 2002, which is pretty limited run. Uh, you can tell right off the bat here, it has a very funky X pattern, I guess you would call it, flange, uh, which is you know a signature, no pun intended, of the HX60 and HX55 turbos. Uh, this one does have a split wheel, of course. We explained that earlier. Customer, you know, really gave her the beans. This turbo has this pneumatic actuator uh, that operates the wastegate. This is not a VGT turbo, guys. This is single geometry just with a wastegate on it. Very good turbo. Uh, a lot of guys actually like to convert their newer ISXs to use this turbo. Moving on, 2003 here, uh, we start the CM870 with the EGR. Uh, you can see that the flange changes to this rectangular pattern. We get rid of the X-style pattern. Uh, it stays with the same 4.2 V-band outlet that the HX60 has. It has a five and a half, I'm sorry, a five inch inlet from the air cleaners here. Um, some of the models do have a temperature sensor, some do not. You can also see that this turbo is liquid cooled and oil cooled, whereas the HX60 is just oil cooled. This turbo also has a pneumatic actuator, but this is for a VGT. This is a variable geometry turbo, guys but it's an air-powered actuator. Get a good look at her there. And this is the HX, I'm sorry, the HE551V. Moving on here to 2008, 2008 to 2011, we have the HE561VE, E for electric, because this one has an electric actuator. Um, we don't have the actuator on it right now, obviously, but it'll be that rectangular actuator from Holset that you should be very familiar with. Now, this does share the same manifold flange between the HE561VE and the HE551V. Frame size, these turbos are very similar. Um, the major difference here is the electronic actuator versus the pneumatic. Majority of the dimensions otherwise are the same between these two turbos. The final one we're going to look at, the HE451VE. So this is actually smaller. Um, you can see significantly smaller in frame size, all the external dimensions. Even the outlet is choked down much smaller for the CM2223, I'm sorry, 2250, 2350s, and X15s. This turbo also utilizes that the uh, rectangular electric actuator from Holset, which we don't have on this turbo. Now that we've got a you know general idea, let's go a little bit more in depth about each specific unit. So we'll quickly jump into the differences in these turbos themselves. 
with the HX55 and the HX60 series, there's different turbine housings, uh, you know, smaller and larger for horsepower. Uh, same thing with the compressor, where there's different size wheels, depending on what the horsepower level is of the truck. Um, same for the HE551Vs. There was a couple different variations. There was two main ones, a 2881993 and a 2881994. HX561VE also had some variations, uh, the 430-9076 and the 430-9077s. And the last ones, the HE451VEs, uh, the two main configurations were the 288-2111 and the 288-1112. So that's 2882 I'm sorry, 288-2-1-1-2 and one 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 three ones different size compressor wheels depending on the horsepower specs, guys. So that's really it, guys. I just wanted to take a second and kind of explain the differences between the 570, the 870, the 871, and 2250 turbos. Uh, so that way, when you're calling in, you know, you know what you need to buy. A lot of times, guys just call in and say, hey, I need an ISX turbo, and they could be so different. It's hard to even give a ballpark price. Because something like the CM870 with a pneumatic actuator, I mean, hey, you know, it might be $2,000. Well, something like the HE451VE with the electronic actuator, there's so many more moving parts there. And that could be, you know, six, $7,000 depending on where you're getting it from. Now, all right, guys, so we've just seen 22 years of turbo history from 1999 to 2021. So you might think that there's a lot of variance in ISX turbos. And to some degree, there is. But the fact that four turbos covers 22 years of truck engines, that's pretty damn good. So we talked about our CM570 turbo, the HX60. We talked about our CM871. I'm sorry, our CM870, our HE551V. Our CM871, which is our HE561VE. And then our CM2250, CM2350s, and X15s, which comes with our HE451VE. We carry all these turbos in the whole set Cummins Reman. We also have our own brand new versions of them. So the HE451VEs, the 561VEs, the 551Vs, we have them brand new. All new parts, new turbos. Add your actuator and go. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Give us a call, shoot us an email. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> you want to be in a blooper reel? Yeah. No. My life's a joke. So. Well, you know, if you got a really early one, I don't like the way this is shooting.